Good morning, Hoosiers, and welcome to Paper News 24-7, brought to you today by Fourth Hawk Consulting Business Efficiency Specialists. Your local news in a very efficient three minutes or less starts right now. I'm Stu Clampett with Montgomery County's top headlines. 4-H Fair is quickly approaching, and that means it's almost time to crown another 4-H Fair queen. The contest is scheduled to take place Friday at 8 p.m. in the 4-H building and fairgrounds. Doors will open at 7.30 p.m. and admission is $2. You can find out more in today's paper of Montgomery County. In other news today, a Crawfordsville man charged with nine level three felony counts of child molestation will have a case management and omnibus hearing on Friday. According to the arrest affidavit compiled by Detective Matt McCarty of the Montgomery County Sheriff's Office, Anthony Brady, age 18, was sexually involved with a 13-year-old girl. Evidence of the affidavit suggests that the relations were consensual. Details are on page A1 today. Also today, Karen Zock's popular column around the county focuses on a pair of Southmont grads who are still madly in love to this day. That's your local news for the day. We'll be back with a look at your weather right after this word from our sponsor. The future of tough is here today, the 2015 Ford F-150. I'm Jamie Martin with five great reasons to come see the new F-150. Number one, the F-150 is built with a high stream military grade aluminum alloy body and high strength steel frame for less weight and greater strength. Number two, with our inventory of tough new Ford F-150s, you'll have four different engines to choose from to meet your demands. Three, the tough new F-150 can tow more than any other light duty truck. Plus, you'll have an eight inch productivity screen to provide a screen dedicated to towing information. Four, it's the smarter F-150 with over 100 new patents that make the F-150 smarter than ever. And five, the F-150 even includes available LED lighting everywhere you need it. It even has an LED box light that allows you to work at night. It all adds up to tough. Come see the tough new 2015 Ford F-150 at Mike Racer Ford, Sagamore Parkway and State Road 38 East in Lafayette. Well, it's a rainy forecast once more. Today brings a chance of showers. It will be cloudy with a high near 73. Tonight should be mostly cloudy with a low around 61. That chance of showers and thunderstorms stays with us on Thursday with mostly cloudy skies and a high around 78 and an overnight low around 65. Things warm up a bit on Friday with a rainy Friday. Partly sunny skies bring us a high near 83. And overnight, we see a chance of thunder showers with mostly cloudy skies and a low around 71. That's your local news and your local weather. Sports with Nick Wilson is up next. Hey there, sports fans. I'm Nick Wilson, and here's what you need to know today in Montgomery County sports. Anyone over the age of 20 who grew up in Montgomery County likely never got the chance to develop their football skills at a young age. However, that all may change as the Heads Up Youth Football Program has been surveying our county as a suitable place to form a league. We have all the warm weather we could want, and yet summer can be one of the slowest times of the year for sports. Why? Taking a break for the summer doesn't make much sense to the Athenians either. That's why Crawfordsville head basketball coach David Pierce, with the help of several of the athletes' fathers, have organized a relaxed schedule throughout the summer for pickup games at the high school. The Sugar Creek Swim Club's competitive swimming program promotes a healthy lifestyle. Read about it in today's online or print editions of the paper. And that was your three minutes of local news. For more information on these and other stories, click on our e-edition or pick up a print copy of the paper of Montgomery County. For Paper News 24-7, I'm Nick Wilson.